Alright, I feel like this is gonna... I want to do this for a lot of characters where Phil and I know a little bit about them, but since Dustin didn't know anything, Dustin, what did you think of Groot? Okay, Groot, um, I think out of all five of the characters, the spe- specifically the main characters, yeah. I thought he was my number one favorite. Oh, yeah? Um, I know that's pretty. That's a pretty popular opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, for a character that only said, I am Groot, and then the stupid, we are Groot, yeah. it, he had a lot of depth to him, mm-hmm. especially compared to the fact that when everyone was so condensed already, he, you know, to me, he had so much depth as a character. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I don't really have any complaints about Groot. He, he you know, um, specifically, I don't, I don't know much about him. I don't know him in yeah. the comics or anything, but if I, I, I would make a rough guess that he was probably done very well in the animation. Um, yeah, I like I like the fact that he's not all like nasty and branchy like he is in the yeah he's he's very stuff. streamlined he's yeah, like yeah. he's like a tree yeah he he looks he looks cuter in the movie he's whereas, he's really nice whereas in the in the cartoon he's like almost swamp thing looking in some he's versions gross yeah. he looks horrifying but you know I like I like his cuter look I I remembered something it's adorable I had a problem with Groot at one moment when it's really dark and he like lets all those shimmery firefly looking things out yeah. of him. I was like, you can't just introduce, like, how does he do that? But then Drax was like, where did you learn how to do that? And then I felt, okay. Yeah. yeah. At least they made a reference to that. Oh, yeah, he just can do this. By yeah. The way. He's like, oh, wait, how did, where? Can, can he do more than that? Just uh, like, I'm, I don't I, I would I assume really so. Know. If he know. can just shit out He probably fireflies. has fireflies living inside of yeah, him. Yeah, probably. Like, he's thing. a tree. He's got a, probably a whole entire ecosystem going on in his I, it would make sense. E- ego system. So self self ego. system. <laughs> so Groot's cool. We like Groot. Yeah. What about yeah. Gamora? What did you think of Gamora? Um, probably my least favorite. Um, she just didn't. She's the she, useless chick. She is useless chick. She, she, she is, other than that we, one we, fight, we, she we had got her. we got we got Rocket as the brains. Yeah. We got Star Lord as the face. Drax as the muscle. And Groot, Groot as the muscle. wild card. I feel uh, like, Drax wild card. Really, I think Drax would be the muscle. Groot is like, by the way, I can do this thing. Um, it kind of runs on his own. If we're looking at this from a classic, Groot's the RPG face. He's the mask archetype. guy. Uh, d- the main character is the wild card. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Groot's the face because he's the cute guy. Yeah. He's the he's the charm. He is the charm. And you you could say that Star Lord is the wild card because he is a yeah, wild card. Sense. And then and Gamora's useless chick, even yeah, though Gamora, she's not technically useless. She can kick your ass. And she just had a she had a boring backstory. Mm-hmm. I my parents were killed. So I got tracks. adopted by yeah, yeah wham wham wham. <laughs> I got adopted by Thanos. Yeah, the main, the god of the entire universe. And now I'm pissed off. Yeah, yeah. Thanos is not the god of the. I don't. Yeah, know I feel he's. like she'd probably. He's getting godlike powers to destroy. And the, the only universe. time I ever was like, oh, Gamora's pretty freaking cool was uh, when she had the fight with her cyborg sister. Yeah. Which was two minutes of yeah. just kicks. Yeah. yeah. It was like, oh, by the way, they're still fighting. Knife, knife, knife. Oh, by the way, kick, they're still kick, fighting. Kick, 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 knife. Yeah. Hey, but at least she wasn't like overly, uh, what's the word? Like in the trailers and stuff, it kind of looks like she was going to be like, uh. Like a super, like, love interest. Like, yeah. yeah. But it really wasn't She's like not, that at all. There's like two moments yeah. where there's yeah, yeah. kind of some chemistry, but yeah, I'm really happy. That yeah, like, like in the, in the trailer, they're just like. Go watch this mainstream audience, people, and then you'll go watch it. Yeah, and you're I, like, I didn't oh, want it to be goodness. the the backstory was oh, there's romance involved. Mm-hmm. That would have taken away from yeah. the fact that they're yeah. you know she's she's a cold blooded assassin. That's she's right. a yeah. hard bitch. Whoa, shit. <laughs> but Call um, back. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe if her backstory is a little more fleshed out, like if we got to see more of it, I probably would have cared a little bit more about her. Yeah. But as it stands, yeah, she's a useless girl. Yeah, but I liked her. She, I, I'm not saying I didn't like her. and She's just yeah. the least interesting out of the group. Yeah. yeah. So, she's better than a lot of other female characters. Yeah. So. I mean, I liked her better than Cyborg Sister, because Cyborg right. Sister's whole job was like, you know, Ronan's going to kick your ass. Yeah. 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 She's, she's <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, what's her name? Redhead chick from Doctor Who, Matt Smith version? Oh, uh, I don't know anything about Matt Smith. Doctor okay. Who. What's her name? Amy Pond. Oh, yeah, that's her name. That's her. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That sounds horrible. Yeah. I'm glad that's I don't watch that show anymore. Yeah. Matt Smith, more like cat piss. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. shoot. Um, so we talked about Drax a little bit. 
But what did okay. you think of Drax? Well, first off, I want to go back to yeah, Gamora. Um, I'm, not, I'm not rushing you. No, no, no. I just want to make one more One Piece reference. She's literally Nami. Yep. Ooh. That's it. The, it's pretty much the same, except Nami doesn't suck. Yep. <laughs> yep. Star Lord's literally um, Drax's the, the, the Zoro. <laughs> Groot's Brook or Chopper or. I would go with uh, Chopper. Yeah. Because, he's you know, Adam, he's so different. Yeah, he's Usopp. He's the best. <laughs> Plant, plants. Uh, and, All right, well, uh, did you say Drax? Drax, yeah. <laughs> he was cool. Rocket Raccoon is a chopper. Um, okay. <laughs> Drax was cool and all. I don't know. I just didn't, as a as average mu- movie goer perspective, I didn't really have an a- attraction to Drax. Yeah. I didn't, it, he was, again, the backstory was, this one, it, this one was sad. It was my wife and uh, child were killed. In front of him, wasn't it? Uh, his, his wife and daughter. Yeah. His girl kid. Yeah. Okay, well, I wasn't sure. I didn't remember the gender, so that's why I just said... It was a drag set. Um, I don't think he... I don't think he. they were killed in front of him because they were talking about the screams or something like Oh, it, yeah, it was Gamora who watched her family die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drax just found his family later. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a Luke Skywalker. Thanos killed, killed them. Yeah. And since Gamora was raised by Thanos... He thought that she had something to do with it. Yeah. Or like that well, she, she was on his side. He knew that she worked for Ronan. And he knew Ronan was his end to see Thanos. Mm-hmm. So he was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow them to get I'm, to Ronan. I'm going to kill. Um, he, he was just, you know, he he was reckless. He just yeah. wanted your revenge. And yeah. he just felt dispensable. But he, yeah, but he gets better by the end of the He movie. does, he does. I mean, like. it. But yeah, the, 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 the flavors the 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 spice sweet and the it, the Tabasco yeah and the and the and the salt mm-hmm. <laughs> you you got your you got your Groot your Rocket and your Star Lord that's it and then you got the two know. others I I enjoyed they're they're good characters they just they don't have that same kind of I hmm. was I wasn't going in expecting as many jokes out of Drax oh yeah he is a he's a very funny member of the team. Because of his personality, not like he is actively making just jokes. completely oblivious to and, figurative speech, and yes. that caught me off guard, and I really liked it. So Drax yeah, it was is, it was nice. Drax is my fourth favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, um, mine as well. So uh, we'll save Star Lord for last. What do you think of Rocket? Oh, de- he was freaking awesome. Um, <laughs> him Ra- and- a raccoon who who shoots rocket launchers. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. And another outside reference, not the One Piece this time. Oh, okay. Um, is actually World of Warcraft. He is essentially the goblins. Oh right? yeah, yeah. They, I've they, played they, a little goblin. They're just all about money. Um, they don't really give a shit about anything else that goes on around them. Yeah. They're just like, I want my payment. I don't care how it gets to me. I don't care what happens. I just want my payment. Yeah. And um, it it he was just you know. Where else has a raccoon been that can shoot guns that are way better? I, I like the part where he says, um, he's like, why do why you keep calling me a raccoon? He's like, because that's what you are. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. even know what raccoons he, are, he, yeah. He, yeah, he, literally, because they're in space, he hasn't seen a raccoon no. in his life. Yeah, that's it. And he was just a, spliced up, you know. That's to, a terror animal. From, from other things right. I, I had read was um, there are different variations of mm-hmm. Rocket uh, but I like the one they took in this one where he was genetically modified. Yeah. That one makes, just makes the most sense to me. Yeah. Not an alien that looks like a raccoon. He said, he said, what the hell is a raccoon? He said, ain't no thing like me but me or something like that. We no. roasted your kind on spits. Yeah. Is what Drax said about him. Because huh. they used to eat raccoons. And I, I, I like... Oh, okay. <laughs> my favorite moment of Rockets was when they were they were in Star-Lord's ship and they were, you know, getting up and standing up and promising they were going to see this out to the end. And Rocket's little speech was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And he's like, there's that part where he's like, I didn't ask to be like this. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, that was actually my, one of my more favorite parts of the movie. Yeah. I, it was short, but it was still, you know, really, really good. It was really cool when, when they get really drunk and they're gambling and then Drax and Rocket duke it out. When Rocket does that breakdown, that yeah. was really cool to see. That's another thing where it caught me off guard. I didn't expect Rocket to Was that when the breakdown was? He, or was I talk, he, he mentions it again. He or, said something okay. like he called him a rodent, and then oh, another the, guy yeah. called him an animal. When they had the breakdown, he starts screaming like, "I don't want! I didn't ask to yeah. be like this." Do you know then, what it's like to be built and taken apart? 
20 yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, so, that's when yeah. I, yeah, I had it wrong, but still, it's that's one of my more and then, favorite And then times. there was, like, one part where he's, like, I, I don't remember, like, lighten the situation, and he said, uh, can you do something about your pet? And he says, what? And then he just points that giant-ass gun at him. That was yeah. funny. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was good to see, I mean, <laughs> for a character you like, it's hard to watch him hit rock bottom, but it was really yeah. cool that in such a to- short amount of time to introduce and develop these characters, that Rocket took such a plunge in his character development. Yeah. He hit the bottom, and we got to see, you know, his soft inner yeah. raccoon self. Yes. His, his soft... Oh. I like raccoon. Oh. Rocket. Rocket raccoon. He's pretty I like cool. raccoons as well. Raccoons are adorable. I also like rockets. Double... Double win. Double, yeah, double whammy. D- double whammy. Yeah, wombo combo. Wh- whoa. <laughs> so, um, uh, and then the moment at the very end... Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, um, no, no, no. Go, go, when go. Rocket is mourning Groot... Oh yeah, and it has a middle Drax order. is petting Rocket. All right, I, 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 yeah, I, I had an issue with me too. the ending with that part. Okay, so he grabs a little piece of just a random twig. At the end of the movie, uh, some bombs about to go off or something. The ship's crashing into ships crashing. the earth, and Groot uh, encapsulates everyone in his branches, and he mm-hmm. says, "We are Groot." Before yeah. it explodes, and he saves them from dying. And he shatters into just several pieces. Just yeah. And Rocket cries, and he grabs a stick that's left over, mm-hmm. puts it in a vase. After the credits, he's growing again, or like after yeah. the first half of the part of the credits, or whatever. And and Groot's growing again. Uh, did he know that was going to happen? Did I because he's he was crying a lot. That that was my thing. I assumed that he would have known that because he knows how fast like. When Gamora cuts his arms off, he's like, it's fine, you can grow back. Yeah. So I would assume that they've been together long enough that that Rocket would have known. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, in the comics, there's a moment where he like blows up on a ship and Rocket goes out and fetches one piece of him. Yeah. And he's like, this will be enough to bring him back. He's like, I uh-huh. gotcha, buddy. And I expected that movie Rocket would have the same knowledge, which he did at the end, but only after he grieved. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It was I, it was it, weird. So he had it in a vase, that, like like he knew he was going to grow back, but he was crying. I mean, Phil, if I knew and, that you were going to come back, but I still watched you explode, I'd probably it'd probably be yeah. But if I was made out of wood and I just splintered <laughs> instead of blood and guts and gore and well, stuff that you've been evolutionarily yeah, in, strange, inclined strange. to be scared of, but it was still weird. Yeah, a little, little strange. I yep. questioned a little bit there. Again, it's the whole. There are some things that just weren't fleshed out much of yeah. this movie. Yeah, uh, but anyway. So average that part right there is like. Also, Ooh. I wanted to know: is it just any scrap of him? Can there be an unlimited amount of Groots? Is there a specific? Was there specific? Yeah, because special. I was wondering about that too. Like all those other scraps on the ground, are those gonna are those grow? not going to grow into Groots, or does he, if he just gets one puts in the plant? Maybe it's like once his brain develops in the, one of them, then like the rest don't have. I don't know. And Crazy, maybe just because the part of him that they put in the soil. Maybe, but I mean, the rest a, of he is still at nature a plant. Yeah, but the rest of them are on the ground. So if those were true. buried into separate plots, pots, could he have? Is he a mini Groots? Is he a starfish? Anyway, Groot's cool. Yeah. What's so it? cool that we don't know what the hell... Yeah, we, we want to know more. Yeah. We want more. We want more. I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So, Dustin, finally, let's talk about Star-Lord for a minute. What What did you think of this? the Lord of Stars? The, the Yeah. Um. Well, other than being, in my opinion, the most fleshed out character... Yeah. Um... He he was cool. He, I I want to know. It, it was just like the first scene where he puts his when he's going into the big cool cave and there's a yeah. cool moment where he's coming out of the ship and he's got the mask. But then he just starts dancing and he like grabs that rat and sings into it like a microphone. Yeah. What were you thinking at that well, moment? Well, I knew of the movie? I knew ahead of time that he wasn't a serious character okay. at all. So mm-hmm. I wasn't like taken aback or anything. I was really wondering what like was going through Grace's head at that moment, like so early in the movie. I was I was hoping like please. Please just sit through this grace. It will. Yeah. It'll all make sense. Oh, but oh I still. Oh, Jeremy. Cause, yeah, because yeah, it was overly comedic at that beginning okay. part. Yeah, but as I still didn't know I, how I capable Star Lord was. I, I see. I didn't know if like I, I was fairly certain he was he wasn't gonna just like bite the head off the rat, but for some reason he got so close that I was just like, yeah. 
And I knew he really, I really knew that he wasn't going to do it. But it just, I felt like he was going to for some reason. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, but, I mean, like I said before, I wasn't taken aback. I knew ahead of time that, you know, none of this movie was to be really taken too seriously. And he himself is the clown. Yeah. So, yeah. I, you know, Wild card. it was natural. And then, but I was still left wondering, you know, how capable is this dude? And then he gets attacked by the guard, mm-hmm. and he kicks their asses, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then you start learning more and more how capable he is, and that he 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 is he is a cool character. He's a very cool concept. I liked his outfit a lot. Yeah, he's got. Really I thought cool. the, he had the coolest outfit at all. I mean, it's not hard to outdress Drax. He didn't or, wear or anything. Groot, Groot's just, Groot, Groot's he's just a tree. A tree, yeah. <laughs> so, but he had the coolest outfit of I think any I other characters. Groot. Um, where, maybe this is because I'm not too well knowledgeable in this, but <laughs> where did the mask come from? He's got a little thing behind his ear. No, I mean, like, oh. what, where, oh. where okay. did it so originate in the, from? So, so, in the, in the, in the future. Because there's no one else that I see that has really? a mask like that. Oh. Uh, well, he probably bought it somewhere. I don't that's, yeah. that it's, it's, you, you got the whole galaxy to he, buy your he shit. Probably yeah, got, I know. He I probably know got it the same I place he got his rocket boots. But, okay, so there's like a chip behind his ear, everyone who's not familiar. if He click, he clicks this uh, button on the back of his ear or whatever, and a full metal like, like mask, a, yeah. oxygen supplying helmet uh, mask thing yeah. just materializes mm-hmm. onto his face to fit, you know, yeah. that fits perfectly. Perfectly, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's got to be really like airtight because he goes out yeah. into space wearing it. So yeah, I mean, he can't go out for very long, but he does go into space. Yeah, so it's got to be like vacuum sealed onto his face. Right. right. So I mean, where it comes from, I don't know. probably got the same. It's not. Stars. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Star Trek beam. It's just curious because again, it, it just things get don't get flushed out too yeah. well in this movie. Um, yeah. But. Overall, as a character, again, I'm just going to restate it. He was cool. Mm-hmm. I liked him. He was my third favorite. Um, yeah. First being Groot, second being Rocket, third being Star Lord, mm-hmm. fourth Drax, fifth Gamora. Yeah. Um, again, it was kind of like I felt. I still felt underwhelmed by him mm-hmm. because he's the captain of the Guardians of the Galaxy, and it didn't seem. It, it was kind of like Ronin. Ronin wasn't too threatening or anything. Yeah. I knew. I knew. Star Lord was extremely strong as a character and yeah. stuff like that, but still, it was just kind of like, okay, you have a couple of flashy guns mm-hmm. and you're very evasive. What else can you do? Yeah, mm-hmm. so I, I don't I just, think I don't think he was a uh, not fleshed out to the extent that Ronan was, though. Yeah, Ronan yeah, I don't think any less. any of the five main characters are fleshed out as, well enough. Yeah. Okay, but I, out it, of all five, it, he was undeniably. Yeah, I, the most I agree. Well it's just fleshed out. Mm, it was like, hey, real what, quick, what would real, they hey, sacrifice? Hey, hey, real, real quick. Hey, Dustin, what you drinking right there? Drinking Monster. This episode sponsored by Monster Punch. punch. Fruit Punch flavor. Fruit ba- Punch. Punch! Ba- Baller's <laughs> Blend. Baller's <laughs> Blend. Oh, I'm a baller. What do they need to do? They need to get you some. Okay. Anyway, sorry. We just hadn't done sponsor this episode. Just forgot sponsor. Six sponsored minutes. Sponsored by Microsoft. Left. It's all right. Uh, what were you saying? Um, Star-Lord. Totally he's, forgot what he's pretty cool. I'll tell you, I like Chris Pratt a lot, and I was expecting kind of his Parks and Rec character, and it kind of is sometimes, like when he's dancing around singing yeah. that stuff, that's very Parks and Rec, Andy Dwyer. But he was also not that, and that was really good. He was a very... I'm, I'm glad to see that Chris has a very extensive yeah. range. He's not... He's not Robert Downey Jr. and everything Robert Downey Jr. is in. Yeah, yeah. He can, he can be a good character. I was I was about to say, I I liked how the technology in this in this movie, it was like, you know how Iron Man is like the very extent of the future that we can see being possible in yeah. the near future, whereas Guardians of the Galaxy took that to a you know like that future's future. Mm-hmm. It's so like all the technology like the. Uh, like the blue dude, Merle, Blue Merle, what's his name? <laughs> Yondu. Yondu. He, he would whistle, and he had this, like, Cy- arrow. Cybernetic arrow, arrow thing. Yeah. Cybernetic 
arrow thing that would like kind of like levitate and like move around whenever he would whistle yeah, and his little head thing would light up yeah so like his, he was somehow communicating mm-hmm. through a, a device that was hooked up to his brain by whistling and this arrow would uh yeah i think it's swivel around and i, spear I think it says something that something is ridiculous if i was like and then this guy he can whistle and control an arrow yeah something as ridiculous as that sound i I didn't really question it while I was in the movie. Right. Which is awesome. Because it really seemed like it could be a thing that could happen <laughs> somehow. Well, I mean, they, because yeah, this was... is like, it, the, the technology was so futuristic. And it was, you know, that part where he like hits the button and everything kind of materializes. It looks convincing enough mm-hmm. that I was like, you know, in, in, this, in this world, like, you know, with, or in this galaxy, actually. Mm-hmm. In which technology is not a hundred or a thousand years in the future, but like a million. Well, it's or like like say we have technology right now. Think not of you know the immediate future, but like thousands of years well, beyond it's not, that. It's not Earth future. It's existing I know. somewhere else. I know. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. Technology being developed for a longer period of time than that. Mm-hmm. So like just you know thousands of years in. It just, it looked like it worked. Yeah. Just the way that everything was played out, or uh, illustrated, that's what I mean. So I know Phil probably wasn't excited, but Dustin, did you enjoy seeing Dr. Steve Brewell on Guardians Uh, of the Galaxy? Oh my god, Um, (laughs) Steve Brewell has like... It's John C. Riley. if you guys don't know, he's on it. If you haven't watched Dr. Steve Brewell... Check it out, Dr. Dr. Steve Brewell... It's a Adult Swim show starring him, and he's really stupid. My dad likes Steve Brule. Ah, uh, Steve Brule's the best. He's it's the... it's so stupid. It's just, and it's just so funny. Yeah. But like, it just kind of uh, takes away from his career as an actor because yeah. that's all I, I was just waiting for to be like, yeah, dingus yeah, for I'm, your health. I'm so just all just... the quotes from yeah. Steve Brule because I binge watched all those episodes, yeah, and that's just John C. Riley now. He's just yeah. Steve Brule from that and like all the Will Ferrell movies. Like he, I didn't take him seriously in anything that he was in. Like in this movie, any scene he was in, I was just like John C. Riley's just hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not even a character. He's just on set. He's been one of my favorite actors since Walk Hard. Oh, it's a good yeah. movie. It is very good, but and I. Even if I were to go yeah. watch that movie now, after Steve Brule, it's just yeah. Steve Brule. Yeah. That's John C. Riley yeah. is literally just I ex- Steve Brule. He needs ex- to change his real life name to Steve Brule. Yeah. I expected him to have a larger role in the movie because he's so prominent in the trailer, and I'm really glad he didn't because of how he breaks my immersion because <laughs> he's Steve Brule. Um, but yeah, so he's good. Check it out. <laughs> um, so our time's almost up. Doctor. So, yeah, Doctor, Doctor. Our time's almost up, so let's go around. Um, Dustin, you want to go middle, maybe? Go me, you, Phil. We'll pick our rating for this movie. Because we rate movies out of ten, right? Ten? Yeah. Okay. So, Guardians of the Galaxy. When I left the theater, I was ready to give it a nine out of ten. After I've thought about it a little bit, I think I'm leaning more towards an eight. Yeah. Until I see it again, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, and I rhymed. So, bonus points for me. Good job. 8 out of 10. Dustin. Okay, so, like I said from the very beginning of this, I am I was watching the movie from an average moviegoer's perspective, so my rating will reflect that, and I will give it a 9, because, again, as an average movie mm-hmm. viewer, yeah. I wasn't too... I wasn't looking so hardcore into the minute details, Mm -hmm. and overall, it's it's a great movie. Yeah. But if I were looking at it like a critic or anything like that, I would give it have given it an eight. But if you're just like, hey, let's go to the let's get popcorn and soda, let's go see the movie. I heard it's really good. It's gonna be a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Phil said it was a very fun movie, and that's a very accurate description. I, I I I thought fun would be the most way to the best way to put it. Now, when I when I think of ratings for movies and stuff, I always like I always think. If it's a high rating, I always feel like this is a movie for everyone. I know. I know. It's yeah, not, yeah. It, That's just our... Yeah. We need to wrap it up soon. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to turn it off. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, if a movie has a high rating, I always think that this is a movie for everyone. Yeah. I don't think Guardians of the Galaxy is I, really a movie for everyone. I feel like everybody could get something out of it. Yes. I so, don't think everybody should go to the theater and spend the $8 or yeah. whatever to watch it. Yeah. Or the 16. I would... 
now as an en- entertainment, yeah. as an enjoyment, I would give it something like a nine or an eight. Yeah, I'm giving it a seven. Really? Oh, yes. Pulling a Godzilla on us. You're doing me from Godzilla when I yeah. gave it a seven. That yeah. was the reference. I, yeah, I I gave Godzilla an eight, just so you guys know. I gave it a seven. I enjoyed it a ten out of ten. I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy, like an eight or a nine. Mm-hmm. As a movie, I think it gets a seven. So, when we add up our, our sum total here, mm-hmm. we've got a... Uh, 24 out, out of, of 30. Out of, out of 30. <laughs> 24 stars. 24 out of stars. 30. Um, one more thing. I remembered I was going to say this. The soundtrack for this movie, which is all like 80s pop and rock and stuff, um, I was reading online that those bands are suddenly getting like a super jump in profits because everybody yeah. is re. They're like, oh, that was that really cool. David Bowie had a song. And then yeah, they go watch yeah. David Bowie. That, because Just because Star Lord's. Awesome mix. Yeah, yeah that's a, awesome I, mix volume one and two. Literally, when I came home from tapes. the movie that night, yeah. I went on YouTube, looked up Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix, and it has, you know, people already done complete playlists for Awesome yeah. Mix yeah. number one. And I, it, I, there's some songs I've never heard of, and I'm like, damn, these are really good. But there's been a lot of bands who've been getting way more profits because people are like, man, that David Bowie song was good, and they start buying David Bowie music or whatever. So it's so, definitely a good. So that's really music cool industry. and interesting to me. <laughs> What a bunch of a hopes. You're in love with you. <laughs> All right, so um, you heard it here. Twenty-three out of twenty-four. Twenty-four out of thirty. Math Can't do too. math. Uh, I, I would suggest if you guys have the free time and money, go see it in theaters. It's really worth sitting and watching it in theaters. It's a very fun movie. Um, I think that's it. We are grouped. And we are got a, a Facebook page. We are got a Facebook page. I was trying to make it a thing. But Good didn't. job! Um, check us out on Facebook. There's... Chardians of the Men. <laughs> Galaxy. Godzilla Chapman! Um, on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we've got an email, g- chapmanshow at gmail.com. <coughs> Send us your review of Guardians of the Galaxy. Hayden. And we'll read it. <laughs> uh, um, uh, all that stuff's in the description. You guys follow those links. Uh, like, favorite, oh, all that yeah, 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 normal yeah, 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 YouTube yeah, yeah. whore stuff that people Just say. YouTube whores. Um, we will be back Give uh, me more in a while. Because I don't have enough. Because I don't have enough. We got 26 likes on Facebook. We got 15 subscriptions on YouTube. And that's it. Is that it? I don't know. Dustin, when we do a Guestman episode, we let the guest sign the episode off. So if you want to do a sign off, you can say whatever you want right now. It's your time to shine. Okay, well, this is Dustin with the Chapman. Mm -hmm. And we are signing off. And thank you guys for letting me talk. It was a pleasure. Oh, it was good. Good. I give that uh, that sign off a 28 out of 30. Like I give it 29 out of 30. You boys are hungry. All right, guys, we're we're gone. See you guys. Bye. I'm great.